Hi, I'm that James guy, and this one's a little bit different today. I'm going to show you what it looks like when a diesel engine has a hole in a piston. Easiest way to tell, well, you're going to know because it's going to be down on power and there's going to be blow-by flying everywhere coming out the blow-by tube. But if you pull the oil filler off, this goes with most diesel engines. If you've got a bunch of blow-by and it is a poofing blow-by, like one cylinder is uh, damaged or broken or whatever, it's going to be a poof, 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 poof at idle. Whereas if it's like a turbocharger or an air compressor or something like that, it's going to be more of a steady stream. Now, I had this video on my other channel, which I didn't really like promote. It was just kind of hanging out there. I put random videos on it. And this one actually had a lot of hits and I got so many silly comments like, oh yeah, it's probably an EGR cooler problem. Oh, it's probably EGR this or it's EGR that. Because people hate EGR, partly for good reason but it's there for a reason. Um, but this one had a crack in cylinder number three. And the reason for that was the piston had failed, not how you'd think, but uh, on the underside of the piston, there is little retainer clips that go under the crown. So when the jetted oil comes shooting up to the bottom of the piston, it kind of retains a bunch of oil in the piston crown to keep it cool. Now these little two little clips are kind of pushed in there when they make the piston. One of them, the failure actually, one of them had come loose and fallen out. So the oil couldn't, it was not captured in the piston crown anymore. The piston crown overheated, then we got a crack or a hole or whatever it ended up being. So let's watch this video. You'll see what it looks like. It was quite the epic failure, but first hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I will owe you one. Here's the video. Let her rip.